we are going to see some uh, details about exponential and logarithmic functions it will be very useful in calculus so first we will see this exponential function um, if a function is there f of x y is a function of x which is equal to some value b to the power of x then we will call that as exponential function right there is a common misconception that if suppose if a uh, common misconception is that if instead of b e was there that is y is equal to e power x that is the only exponential function that is what most of the students thinking but that is not right see it's clearly exponential function may be power of anything here may be 10 2 3 4 5 whatever it is some value to the power of x then we will call that as exponential function okay so what are all the values it could have x values could have all real numbers okay it may be positive or it may be negative and y value if you see even if you substitute positive or even if you substitute negative value y value will be always positive okay your y value that is your uh, function of x if you substitute a, y, a x value you will get always a positive number so now come for uh, come for this I, I said e to the power of x is the only exponential function that is the common misconception most of the most of the students facing here you could see if in this base b if i substitute 10 that is 10 to the power of x is called as common exponential function and the same place in place of b if i substitute e then it is natural exponential function so there is a difference even this is also exponential function this is also exponential function here it is natural exponential function here it is common exponential function and what is this e what is this e value e value is nothing but 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus it will be keep on going okay this we will be deriving it we will be seeing the value of e we will be deriving it when once we enter into taylor series in calculus chapter so for now don't worry about this once once we enter into taylor series that time you will know how this 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial is equal to e and value of e is approximately equal to 2.718 approximate value it is not exact exactly equal to right so now compare it with logarithmic function here some base value to the power of x here some base value to the power of y and this will be equal to y and here that will be equal to x if this is the case and if base value is greater than 1 then logarithm of x logarithm of x can be given as logarithm of x with a base b uh, note that point clearly logarithm of x with a base b can be given as just logarithm of x with a base b will be equal to what is the value this is the value this is the power of base b right before finding logarithm of x y is the power of base b so that will be equal to logarithm of x simply if i want to find logarithm of some particular function some particular value x i need to find logarithm of x the base value remains same b b value and if i want to find that logarithm that value will be nothing but the power of that base okay the power of the base is y here in this case it is a y so now what are all the values that y could have and uh, x could have in this case you could see x value can have all positive number and y value can have all number which means x value should not be negative i, I guess most of them would have already know this logarithm of negative value we cannot find it so x value will be positive and y value will be always uh, sorry y value can be both positive and negative so now come for this again same not a misconception most of them knows mm, if the base value if this base value is 10 then what will happen log base 10 of x will be equal to y and this is common logarithm and if the base value is e which is nothing but exponent uh, 2.7 if base value is e then logarithm is called as natural logarithm so generally generally log base 10 will be represented just as a log and log base e will be just represented as ln l n now we will see how to represent this both how to represent the both exponential function and logarithm function in a graph in a graphical manner so we could see a graph here uh, for a logarithm and exponential curve so first one we will see exponential curve graph y is equal to e power x represents this graph okay so if you see 
if x value in this graph what is happening the y value is keep on increasing as x value increases right and if x tending to zero that is if x value is keep on increasing if x become infinity what will happen to y y will also obviously reach infinity because it will be keep on increasing and what happens to what happens when the curve meets y axis when the curve meets y axis x is zero so when curve is meeting y axis x is becoming zero then y value is one so that is what i stated here first thing when the curve when the curve is meeting y axis so when the curve meets y axis x value is zero so e power zero will be one when the curve is keep on moving towards right that is the x value is keep on increasing and it is keep on going towards infinity and when x value tends to infinity y value will also be tending to infinity because you see the curve is keep on moving up 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 so x value will be keep on increasing in right side and y value will be keep on increasing in uh, top side so finally when x reaches infinity y top value will also be reached infinity so e to the power of infinity is taken as infinity and e to the power of 0 is 1 and now see about minus infinity when x is tending to minus infinity that is if i keep on move towards move towards negative so if i keep on as i keep on moving towards negative the value of the y curve that is exponential curve is not exactly touching x component but it is tending to touch the x axis right which means what when x axis when x value is keep on moving toward negative negative infinity when x value keep on moving toward negative infinity the exponential curve that is y value is trying to touch the zero value right trying to touch the x axis which is nothing but y zero so that is why when x is in minus infinity my exponential to the power of minus um, e to the power of minus infinity will be zero so now uh, see the same case for logarithm simple same application the curve is meeting at x axis so x will be one here so if x is one y axis y will be zero so if i put x equal to one here log log base c of one will be zero so logarithm of natural logarithm of one will be zero right and now come for uh, uh, right hand side what is happening to the curve the curve is keep on increasing the curve is keep on increasing 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 and when x value reaches to the maximum possible distance y value would have reached maximum possible distance in the top side same principle as that of this so when x becomes infinity y is becoming infinity so when x is becoming infinity y is also becoming infinity now come for uh, the next case the curve here is keep on going downwards the curves keep on going downwards that means when y when y is tending to minus infinity x value will be approximately zero right or in the other sense i could say when x is keep on tending towards zero my y value will be minus infinity since it is going in the negative side of y direction the maximum possible y it could have is minus infinity right so this is the these are all the things which you need to be noted down and all these things all the three formulas and this three formulas you need to remember there is no other choice when you even whatever competitive examination it is you have to remember these things one is e power zero will be one very familiar e power infinity will be infinity but e power minus infinity will be zero okay and log of 1 will be 0, log of 0 will be minus infinity and log of infinity will be infinity. You need to remember this, there is no other choice. If, if, you, have, if you have an idea about this curve, then there is no issues, you can easily find, you can easily judge these values. We have three important properties of uh, logarithm. We just now discussed about the curves and the uh, logarithm and the exponential function. And these three properties also will be very useful for all the complete examination. So first is if there is a product of two numbers and if I want to find logarithm, with respect to base b then that product of that product of two numbers can be written as summation of logarithm so p into q is a two numbers and logarithm of p plus logarithm of q with the same base we can write it in that form it is the first property second property if suppose there is a there is a number with the power n and if i want to find logarithm of that number with the power n then this power can be taken into friend side so it will be n into logarithm of so it is this again property now third property if there is a division if there is a two number x and y and if they are if they are in a, if they are in numerator and the denominator if that is if they are in the division then we need to subtract it so if they are if it is a product then i need to add if they are in the division then i need to subtract it so these three properties will be very much useful when you are proceeding in your exam